I would love you to join me today for some fun, for some art, for art journaling. No matter what skill you have or you don't have any, no matter what supplies you own and how much room is in your kitchen table, craft room, maybe bedroom, just grab a paper, some basic supplies and just find five minutes for yourself. I made this page on my Instagram so many of you have loved it. It was a very easy page, super short 30 seconds video and someone have said, oh, I wish to see this in a real time without process to be sped up. There we go. Here is my book in my hands and here is few supplies. I really have the supplies that I had in my video for the Instagram. So nothing special here, just some basics and I hope you will try with me. I'm gonna just glue down some pages, some random magazine or all the book pages. Please do it with me. Um, I would love you to trust my process, trust my idea. And I would love you to believe that breaking a blank page, it's not difficult. It's not for her, him. It is for everyone. It's for you as well. The worst is to start to break a blank page. And today's project, it's gonna be probably the easiest you can imagine. Let's just put some random pieces on the paper. That's it. Glue. This is a huge glue but you don't need that. You can use any glue you have. So I'm just getting old book pages. We're not going to recreate this page. Based on these techniques we're going to have some page here. So random things really nothing difficult, right? So blank page and some pages glue down on top. We have some washi. There we go. What can you use if you don't have a washi tape that it's so pretty like that? Well, that's your answer. Here's just some masking tape. Super simple, super easy, super affordable. Maybe your kids, your grandkids, your friends have some tapes of this kind. Uh, I'm building my background. Nothing, nothing difficult, right? And it is I'm looking for some other magazine, something, anything. Oh, this is pretty, I can just add it up. Now, how I'm gonna choose my colors? Oh, well, that's gonna be based on the sort of background idea that I have at this moment. So I have this gorgeousness paper that it's really random here. It's been random since, since it appeared with no reason. My whole page is gonna be kind of random, but I'm gonna grab some colors that are gonna be in some sort of feel for this particular paper. So let's say it's like a vintagey feel, yeah, brownish and all. You can stick it here, you can stick it here, you can stick however it feels right. Right? <laughs> What's next? Well, it can be anything. Your next step can be water spray. There we go. Your next can be just maybe some white on top. Your next step can be even more water. You can grab your finger and just go around your color, with your color around your page and that's it. You can do whatever you like. How about adding some color? How about just going with on the wet page? Oh, it broke down half. That's okay. How about doing this? How about just going with some random color around here? That's fine. How about adding some more color, like don't overthink anything, please, and some water. I would love this to just start being colored, basically. How about some splashes? There we go. Beautiful, right? How about hmm, maybe dark splashes like that? How about drawing? It's in, I really hope this page will turn out lovely in no time. That's my plan for you to see. You have to trust your instinct, trust the process and not overthink too much. Look, it's beautiful abstract art at this moment, just as it is. I'm just playing around. This one, it's a spray that it's from um, Ranger, but use whatever you have, you own, it's fine. How about some doodling? This is just a random regular pen, 
probably it's gonna run run a little bit if the water comes to it close and it will dissolve a bit it does there we go that's fine there we go that's fine so we have things going around because I like it even more why not in places there we go I am not thinking I'm not sitting here thinking hmm how about adding no here and now just do it don't overthink it next page maybe it's gonna be different better maybe it's gonna be um, based on this one but you're gonna know Oh, I'm gonna do it a little bit different because of something like treat each page as your exercise but the main thing is just do it just start look I didn't dry anything because I really like how the mediums are kind of working with each other and they like look how dark this lovely pen is this one is Stabilo Aquarellable whatever that means but what else can you do how about grabbing a little brush and just there we go have some brush and just look just going with some water in here and just seeing how things are maybe we can do that how about that so treat this like your exercise how about even more of a colored splashes over here I like that let's try this with my chit chats <laughs> this page was finished well it's now six minutes gone I think around six minutes so it's really nearly no time in no time um, I do believe it would be so nice if we could grab some white gesso maybe or how about a little bit of um, just a tissue that will clean clear it up and I'm thinking how about a little bit of white gesso or white acrylic and just 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 do this just there we go just build some contrast and go in two places I think I went too much with the white in this page I, I I think I overdid it oh I love it now so it's like a bit of dark a bit of dark a bit of bright a bit of bright and color you know it's kind of feeling balanced at least to me at least it feels balanced to me how about a bit of white or maybe not how about a little bit of which color will go with it not really how about this one how about a tiny touch of pink oopsie a tiny touch of pink in places like just to have a little bit of random doodles happening that is lovely jovely there we go how about and uh, maybe not this one but how about white splashes oh beautiful and how about a focal point oh I have some accidentally some butterfly here love it I'm gonna glue it down and add it up why not now you may say Marta I'm totally <laughs> lost because you are too fast I'm trying to show you that I'm not thinking I'm overthinking I'm not concentrating I'm gonna dry this a little bit I'm not overthinking of what I'm doing because I think when you do abstract I think it, you, you could nearly do it with the eyes closed I believe I'm gonna add touch of splashes even more like tiny more like I just love it I think it's just super cute even okay let's dry them now how about finishing we have one minute to finish in 10 minutes how about a little bit of doodles with the pen so we're gonna go like here and uh, nothing is <laughs> yet dry so it's not working how about this one or oh, this will work so I'm gonna little around just a tiny touches of color of the there we go and I'm glad that it's not dry because it's okay you know it's fine how about even more here why not a little bit more a little bit more happenings maybe some rounds maybe around going rounds maybe use your non-dominant hand or something you know use your imagination of what you can do how about finishing this up 
with some word on top of it. Blessings. Or maybe on the black, on the in black background. Mmm, pretend, reality, timeless, sometimes strong. I like that. I hope it will just look great. It does. There we go. How about a little bit of... Have I asked you how about like 20 million times today? I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I think I did ask you. But I just wish you to see that... Oh, come on. I just wish you to see that... You can just propose yourself different things. White is not the best. We can just use this one. Um, just ask yourself, how about using this? What about if I use this? Will that work? Will this be great? Will I love it? Ask yourself these questions and see and go for it. We can add tiny doodles of white and I just love it. Super simple. I mean, seriously, there's no good or bad, wrong or bad, wrong or good. Just, just create your own art, your own reality, how it works, how it feels good. I think it's done and dusted and I'm totally loving it. And minimum supplies. I mean seriously, I was just randomly putting color on the page and just like, you know, I'm gonna dry this, pause the video and I'm gonna do another page. I hope you'll join me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I hope you join me. Okay. Page number two. I have glued down these two pages together because I am a little bit usually, um, I don't like, I wanted to say annoyed, but I just don't like too much when, um, when, 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 when my pages are kind of not strong, stiff enough. So I'm going to work on two pages in one time, but they are going to be two different pages. So let's see how this is going to work. So basically we're going to do exactly the same thing, but they are going to be different to each other, I hope. So start exactly the same way. Start with me. Please do it with me. Um, we're starting with just random things on the background. Whatever old papers, old pages, book pages, magazines you have, just glue it down without thinking, without overthinking, without, you know, just just glue it down. Now I have this lovely saying, spread your wings of love and fly in someone's sky of dream and imagination. I think it would be lovely to just add it up. I don't know what's gonna be here. And maybe I'm gonna even cover that up completely or something or partially. But I like it and I would love to this to be there and why not? Okay, so we have like text going on there. Um, <laughs> we can have this one go oopsie going on there. There we go. Mm -hmm. A lot of times is that, a lot of times is that we don't really even see what's on the background. So I wouldn't be paying too much attention of what's underneath it as such. Uh, I don't even have a nice pretty... Um, I don't even have nice pretty magazines because <laughs> we don't buy magazines. We are online kind of users of of um, ma magazines, newspapers, so I don't have physical things, but I have some old <laughs> old magazines like this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop here with the, with the work-ish kind of thing and I'm gonna just leave it and have my tape ready. So here it is. So I'm covering my page, but I'm not really bothered that it's even, uneven, or if it's um, where I'm placing these things, how much is going to be visible. I would love you to just do it with me, just start. So break, break a blank page with me, break this tiny page. Now, the book I'm using is from Arteza, but feel free to use any sort of book you have. That's fine. No matter what you have, all is good. I have this pumy stone color, and I think it would maybe be nice to just start with it start with this color I don't know where this is gonna take us this is white but I'm gonna just have a fun moment with it oh I'm gonna grab this one here maybe as well white how why not <laughs> and do I have another oh, I have this blue so maybe this one can be here the blue one we shall see how it's gonna be and I will grab some I wanted to say white, why not? Maybe 
instead of white I'm gonna have this ooh dark and here as well now there is no priming being done which I usually would do and I purposely don't do that priming here because I would love this to be really <laughs> oh, I love this look I'm not gonna be touching much here it is gorgeousness as it is look at this beauty at this moment so I'm gonna leave this we need a little bit of more movement here but it's also pretty isn't it look at it I mean seriously it's gorgeous as it is so let's just try this just as it is wow love it now maybe some splashes will be nice as well oops in some places and this is a great movement as well so there we go let's dry both of these pages and I'll be right back to you I'm drying 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 but I also have lifted up so the movement is actually there if you need a little bit of more movement you can just spray, spray some more liquid some more water and you can have some colors dripping and moving and all it looks super awesome uh, yeah I'm gonna be back <laughs> when I dry it all okay back to you everything is not dry <laughs> which is okay and I have this never used this gold Posca that I'm hoping to maybe use today oh it's working so let's see maybe I can just have some bit of a mm -hmm. something a little different gold is not something I would normally use in my uh, project but why not a bit of yellowish gold and I found this particular um, and you know what I think it can just match up lovely if we can doodle, up, doodle out a little bit how about now this is uh, what I'm doing at this second this moment in this project in this video it's a style that I'm let's say carry this out for all the pages at this moment but obviously it's just a style it's just an idea it's just how it feels right and good today now at this second when I'm recording it because it was inspired to the page uh, this one right that I have this one that I have showed you so I'm trying to tell you that there are so many ways of actually going around these art journal pages and you can finish them exactly differently uh, however you want however it feels good I think what I love in general it's like the uglier the nicer the more um, strangely looking kind of the better I'm gonna clean this off because it will take me forever until it will dry and you know what even from picking up the leftover pa paper and uh, no leftover paint it can be quite interesting so let's glue this down and finishing up this with the with this focal point why not a lot of beauty is covered but it's okay because we wouldn't get that beauty if we wouldn't cover it up and get other beauties out so all is good now it feels right, right great to totally go around and doodle it all so I can feel that the whole kind of thing belongs to each other if you know what I mean this one is if you're wondering it's a food bowl from Okto. I think it's Kuretake. Is it is it maybe not food bowl uh, Okto. It's not Kuretake, sorry, it's Okto. <laughs> food bowl Okto. It's a great it usually writes beautifully and it does even on the super difficult surfaces. It's not now, but usually it does work amazing. I don't know why it's now. Maybe because I stored it upside down, which is probably a bad idea overall. Oh, look, it's nearly coming back to life. And uh, that's okay. I can grab this one for change. Maybe none of that wants to work with me today. What can I say? I'm gonna try probably. <laughs> no way, come on, something writes it up. Come on. Ah, uh, really? Really? Maybe the pencil will work. Pencil, it's just a pencil. Now you won't see it. So it's no point. Let's try. One last try if this will. Oh, it does work. 
so I'm gonna just have this a little bit of a doodle don't overthink just have it all somehow happening and that's it super now a word to finish up why not uh, wings 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 oh I think it's my best friend actually would you believe it did you hear that knocking to the door it's my it's my best friend two seconds okay sorry about that back to you it was my best friend it's uh, it's pa uh, past 11 p.m. because she was just coming back on the way from hospital everything is fine but her daughter was feeling um, shortness of breath They've done all the tests in the world possible. She's perfectly fine. But she came back to give it back as the cable and the thing for the phone because she went to hospital unexpectedly in a way. So she didn't have her phone charged. So on the way back, she just came because it's so late. She didn't want to <laughs> ring <laughs> to wake, not wake her uh, wake us up. But she gave us bigger heart attack with this knocking, isn't it? So yes, but thankfully everything is fine with the girl uh, because we were we were worried um, yeah Ginny Mac news is good nothing to be not nothing to be worried but more tests needs to be done so going back to our our beautiful project this one is finished I can't get the white um, the white splashes but I can certainly get some white splashes with this spray I'd say and lovely jovely there we go now the last project well not the last but last for now the second one I mean do we have and like I know I've done the butterfly again and that's okay that I'm trying to show you the process the idea the, the the kind of thinking behind it rather than but obviously use what you have will use whatever you own and I'm just trying to find some other butterfly but this will actually be perfect so I'm sorry it's gonna be another butterfly three pages uh, three pages being done um, in like no time at least so you can see how it's how it is I love butterflies I I will be using them because I just adore using butterflies and that's it uh, but just in case you're wondering you can use flowers you can use words for your focal point you can use a uh, draw but focal point yourself you can use face you can use tree you can use uh, whatever feels good and right butterfly seems to be timeless and like always matching whatever i have in my mind i just love it wings uh, butterflies bugs um circles are such a great idea for focal points in general some people maybe some fairies maybe some animals maybe oh that's Lucas's phone <laughs> he came downstairs Hannah is in bed asleep Emily is still here but she's probably heading to bed in a in a second because it's late now it's it's a weekend but it's bedtime anyway <laughs> so it's time for her let me just clean this off like super 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 love this and I may, may try to give a little bit of a outline but uh, it may be not that easy because there's glue around it but let's try let's see so here it is your three pages within like 10 minutes I guess you can nearly say uh, or, or actually 15 minutes for them all I guess I think I'm guessing I don't know <laughs> but I think it's quite little time so um, you can you can you know be super unthinkable about your project and all just however it feels good look even doing doodles like that just let it go guys how about a tiny color to finish up like this super you can even have a tiny color happening here or here on the sides to kind of have it all nice super super now how about a tiny how about a tiny water going on so we can have a little bit of color break oh I'm thinking about black splashes I don't have black splashes here on my hand but oops I have some sort of bluishy grayishy and I think that will be super. 
Uh, anything else, Marta, that you can think of? That you can think of? <clears throat> Oh, I like that. I really like that. Maybe even more color on those edges here now. Yeah. There we go. And we are done. Three butterfly pages in no time. <laughs> Probably around 15 minutes or so five minutes per page. Um, page in the five minutes possible? I think so. I really hope I showed you that with the basic, any sort of beginner uh, background, totally random, totally abstract, you can make some magic simple. My favorite page, probably this one actually. I love it. I think it's gorgeousness. Then maybe this one, at least this one, possibly. I don't know. Are they all lovely jovely i think so i'm gonna finish at that my friends hoping you uh, you enjoyed these three pages and hoping to see more if you like this series of three pages in 15 minutes or a page per five, in five minutes you could let me know maybe we starting up a new series of abstract like that next time i'm hope i hope i'm gonna grab some different uh, <laughs> focal point why not um next time i'm gonna have these flowers it could be this flower it could be lovely as well anyway i'm gonna wrap up with that wishing you a lovely day afternoon uh morning whenever you are watching Hope you are well, stay safe, stay happy. Mind yourself and your loved ones, be kind one to another. I wish you that and I wish myself and my family that too because the last months have been a little bit of a challenge to say at least. So I'm gonna hug you hugely, wishing you a lovely time. Happy crafting and I'll chat to you super very soon. I already miss you, but I do have to go. Till the next time, happier journaling and I'll chat to you very, very soon. I love you. Bye.